Welcome back to the Saturday, May 4th episode of Stacks on Deck. This is Brave Birds DFS, and I'm your host, Walter. If you haven't already, I need you to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell, and don't forget to share my videos. All right, so we have another afternoon slate. This is a seven-game slate. We've got a little bit of weather to discuss and just some interesting matchups. But first, let's pull up my checklist, and we can see that we're going to go over six things. We're going to see how I did the previous day, in this case, the previous show, uh, weather concerns, top stats top pitchers, top hitters, and then I'm going to do a DK stack bill for you. So first we have the bag in the overdraft. We know what the bag is. That's when you're feeling good. That's when you got that money. But we know what the overdraft is. That's when you, you need somebody to see something on Cash App, Zelle, whatever you use. So the good picks, the last time I did my show, the bag were the Mets. It was an afternoon slate. So it was a pretty small and weak slate. So seven runs was actually uh, pretty good for that slate. You had Nathan Evaldi, who had 29.6 fantasy points. And you had Tyler O'Neill, who had seven, sorry, 11 fantasy points and then you have the overdraft uh the red Sox look real good on paper but they only came through with one run same thing with carlos uh rodon he had three fantasy points and then you had nick senzel who only had four fantasy points so let us down a lot so weather concerns so you can see i divide it into two categories i have some concerns and elevated concerns so i have a meteorology background so i just don't depend on what the little symbol on DraftKings says i do my own research and uh so some concerns concerns means that I I wouldn't I wouldn't adjust my lineup uh, for these games but I would keep a, keep an eye on them just in case something happens these are games that could have a delay but I just don't see them the game being truncated or canceled so the weather in Washington I think there's a 80% chance of rain in Washington and like a 60% chance of rain in Pittsburgh uh, so I just don't see them canceling the games but I do have some concerns so I have elevated concerns in Oakland because of the duration of the rain. I think it's like 100% chance and the amount. So definitely with Miami and Oakland, I mean, I would really have concerns. If I had a if I had a player that I liked equally between, on, that was on Miami or Oakland that was comparable on another team, I would definitely pick the other team. But I mean, at the end of the day, a game is either rained out or it's not. So just if you really like some players or a player on Oakland, just make sure that you check before lock so you don't end up messing yourself up real bad. All right. So who are my top stacks today? What are my five top stacks today? So when I'm making my top stacks, first of all, I look at how the team's been playing the past seven to 15 days. I'm looking at their matchup and I'm looking at how they dis distribute, you know, distribute, distribute, <laughs> distribute uh, their offense. So basically are their team where all of the offense is just in two to three players or do they, you know, have the runs, the hits, stolen bases all through multiple players? Because once again, this is a stack. So the Twins have just been on fire lately from an offensive perspective. They have been a really good stack a lot of days recently. And I'm going to go back to the Twins. Uh, the Red Sox, yeah, they let me down a few days ago. But overall, the Red Sox have a really good hitting team. And then the Tigers, which might surprise people, the White Sox and the A's might surprise you. But, you know, those those obvious stacks, a lot of times it get you caught up. But you have a stack like the A's. Not a lot of people are stacking the A's. So assuming that the weather you know holds up the a's are one of those sneaky stacks that can get you you know a, um, a high ranking a high finish in one of these gpps all right so who are my top pitchers so when looking at the top pitchers once again i'm targeting uh teams that strike out a lot because obviously uh pitchers get 2.75 points when they're just strike out so i try to target those teams that strike out a lot i try to target those teams that have a low you know batting average over the past 7 to 15 days and those teams that have a low ops so when you put all that into the hopper and then also i want to get you some value so we can go to DraftKings and we can see we have fetty um let's go over here fetty and he's at 7,500, so he's playing St. Louis, who hasn't hit very well lately. And you can see that um, he's had three games in a row where he's had over 20 fantasy point, points, excuse me, plus back-to-back -back games with 30 fantasy points. So he's only 7,500. Uh, then you have the battle, kind of the race to the bottom kind of game. You have Jones for Pittsburgh playing uh, Gumber for Colorado. So both of these are weak hitting teams. Now, I'm going to say, I mean, Gumber is obviously very risky. He's the lowest price uh, starter at this point. Once again, check and make sure the teams don't change their starters. Uh, but, I mean, this is nasty. It doesn't look that great. His best game is 14.8 fantasy points. 
But if he can get something like that against this weak hitting team in Pittsburgh, and once again, I have some weather concerns about Pittsburgh, and you know, he can allow you to put some higher price, you know, studs in your lineup. But I like Jared Jones a little more. Well, not a little more. I like Jared Jones a lot more. He's the most expensive uh, pitcher on the slate, and for good reason, because Colorado has been dreadful this year. Uh, we can see that three out of his five games, including three out of the last four games, he's gotten at least 20 fantasy points. All right, so then my top hitter. So when I look at my top hitters, a lot of times I look at a hitter who, you know, who has a good hitting streak right now because we want that consistency. Once again, I'm looking for players that, you know, I like players that get steals. So those are the sneaky stats because we know steals allow you to put the player either in scoring position or deeper into scoring position, which can lead to the player getting, you know, points for runs. So I like those those batters that can get those steals. And uh, obviously, I want people that's going to slug and get on base. So first, you'll have uh, Neven for for Oakland. Sorry, Nevin. <laughs> Man, I, I'm tired right now. So you have Nevin. So uh, we can look at Nevin. So first of all, I love the salary savings at 2,500 on a year. He's batting 325. I think he has a, at this point maybe a nine game hitting streak at this point. But you can see he's had multiple hits in four straight games and a home run in three out of the last four games. So I like Nevin, not <laughs> Neven. All right. So next you have uh, you have Castro. For the twins, I mentioned that, you know, definitely going to, we're going to go with my twin stack and I'm definitely going to have Castro uh, in there. Only batting 270 on the year, but we can see in the last five games, he has three, he has a three RBI, he has two stolen bases, and he's had at least three hits in two out of those five games and two hits in another game. And he also has a hitting streak. And then we have a Abreu for, for Boston. We can look at his stats. 313 on the year, two homers, 12 RBI, five stolen bases on the year. Um, so really like that. He's had multiple hits in two out of the last five games. All right, so we can go over to DraftKings. And once again, my number one stack are the Twins. So uh, for my twin stack, I'm going to go with this core of Jeffers at catcher, batting 300 on the year, five homers, 19 RBI, hits in four out of the last five games, including a homer and two multi-hit games. I'm going with Julian, not batting high off on the year, but he even when he's not playing well, he's getting on base because of walks, which helps, allows him to get hit in. And I think he's due for a good game. We already talked about Castro. And then we have Larnarch, who is a uh, Larnatch, excuse me, uh, who has multiple hits in four out of the last five games, including a home run. And he has an RBI in three out of the last five games. All right. So let me know your thoughts. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them. But otherwise, go out there and win that guap.